What is life? Not metaphorically, not poetically, but biologically, philosophically. How can we explain the living without reducing it to dead matter? For over a century, the scientific mainstream has treated life as a byproduct of chemistry, as if molecules, when shaken long enough in a cosmic cocktail, could spontaneously awaken. But what if this assumption is not only wrong, what if it is fundamentally misguided? In the 4th century BCE, Aristotle proposed a revolutionary idea that living beings are not just made of matter, but are animated by a psyche, not a ghost or a spirit, but the principle of organization that makes a living body what it is. Not just stuff, but form. Not just parts, but a purposeful whole. Centuries later, and the dawn of modern biology, German biologist Hans Driesch performed a simple yet astonishing experiment. He split a sea urchin embryo into two, and both halves developed into complete, normal larvae. That shouldn't happen if life were just the sum of its chemical parts. Driesch concluded that living beings possess something beyond physics and chemistry. He called it Entelechy, an inner organizing principle that guides development toward a goal. In 2016, biologist and philosopher Dr. Agustin Osterchuk brought these ideas into the 21st century with a radical thesis that life cannot be built up from molecules like a house from bricks. You can mix chemicals for eternity, but a living being will not emerge. Why? Because life is not an accidental assembly. It is a holistic form, an indivisible pattern of activity, a teleological purposeful formal agent that shapes and sustains the living from within. From Aristotle's psyche to Driesch's entelechy and Osterchuk's teleological purposeful formal agents, one thread remains. Life is not passive matter animated from the outside. It is active form unfolding from within. This is not mysticism. This is not metaphysics dressed as science. This is the return to a forgotten path in the philosophy of biology, a path that honors complexity without reducing it, that respects the living as something more than mechanism. And perhaps, just perhaps, it's the key to a new scientific revolution.